Funding for NJN News is made possible by grants from the Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation, which believes that an informed citizenry leads to a healthy democracy. PSENG, committed to serving customers, strengthening the business community, and investing in New Jersey's future. First Union serves the financial needs of individuals and businesses from Connecticut to Florida. HIP Health Plan of New Jersey, dedicated to providing quality health care to employees of large and small businesses, as well as individuals for two decades. And by Bell Atlantic, the heart of communication, in partnership with public television, serving to inform, enlighten, and educate the citizens of New Jersey. From NJN, the New Jersey Channel, the Emmy Award-winning NJN News with Kent Manahan, Dick Forney with Business, and Jerry Henry with Sports. Details surrounding the suicide of Nicholas Bissell continue to unfold. Good evening, I'm Kent St. John. Kent Manahan has the night off. U.S. Marshals say the former Somerset County prosecutor's capture was aided by a series of cellular phone calls. Rich Young reports. I can't do 10 years. According to authorities, that was Nick Bissell's final statement just before he took his own life inside this Nevada hotel yesterday morning. The U.S. Marshal said today Bissell was traced to the hotel after the former prosecutor made several calls from his cellular phone to New Jersey. Marshals are still in possession of Bissell's body and as of now are giving no indication when it might be released to his family. It's still hard for many to understand why a county prosecutor a leading law enforcement officer would also lead a life of theft and deception. Today, Governor Whitman said she finds the entire incident disturbing and feels for his family. Uh, they have to live with this for the rest of their lives. They would have had some dignity had he come back and served his sentence and then come out and, and tried to make a life again. They would have had a, a positive role model. Now they're left with a but just awful burden to bear. When Bissell was convicted in June, a federal judge, believing he was a suicidal risk, ordered him held without bail. But a subsequent psychological examination disagreed with the judge's assumption. In a court-ordered assessment, federal psychologist Martin Salamick wrote, he stated that his religious beliefs would prevent him from ever acting out against himself and that his love and concern for his family would also stop him from inflicting any type of self-harm. He does not appear to be depressed and denies suicidal thoughts. Based on that evaluation, Bissell was granted bail. A spokesman for Salamick today said he would not comment on the assessment UMDMJ forensic psychiatrist Stephen Semrig, however, said while he was not surprised by Bissell's suicide, he does not find fault with federal evaluations. The problem is not the psychologist who saw him. The problem is not the federal justice system. The problem is that someone as arrogant as Nick Bissell was allowed to operate with that kind of unbridled power for so many years. Well, the U.S. Attorney says she also has confidence in federal psychological evaluations. Faith Hotsberg says she's not going to indict an entire profession because of one incident. Semring believes Bissell was just a smart, calculating man who knew the system and how to beat it. Okay. Okay.